All right, I thought I would do just a really quick video here showing what I would do with a half page scene, a half page scene. Um, it's kind of a awkward, kind of traditional folded card uh, format. It's just too big and most of the paper that I have to mat with is letter size eight and a half by 11. So I really can't do a folded card unless I, I don't know, unless I do some kind of construction, you know, where, where it's folded. So usually I just do a flat you know, piece. I guess that's still a card. Um, but I, you know, I would mat it and then, uh, you know, get it on some firmer um, uh, stock or just by the very nature of layering it, it just becomes thicker and uh, kind of more substantial as a piece, a finished piece here. Now, one of the things that I like to do, um, I find I do this on just about, it's probably 95% of the cards that I mat. I like to go for this really thin um, border. Um, from a textural standpoint, I feel that that really thin line picks up these little uh, embellishments in terms of either, in this case, it's um, primarily the Dr. Martin's Bleed Proof White splatter painted to get those little white textures in there. And then I've always used the white gel pen. This is a 0.7 millimeter, but sometimes I do a little circle to make a, you know, some of these stars a little bit bigger. So I'll just scribble in a little dot, and that's what those kind of larger dots um, uh, are from. You know, and then the gel pen right there. So anyways, that little thin line like that really picks up the, um, the value of them in that they're white but also kind of the, the textural width of it. Um, it's, it's a little bit thicker because I can't go like really tiny and for it to show, but uh, I don't know. I don't even know what that is. It's like a millimeter or something like that. Um, and it's not even even, you know, I just kind of eyeball my matting when I'm doing that. Now, just for that white there, I mean, I don't know if it's, you know, come worth it to do this, but that little thin layer is a Snow Willow Aspire Petallics. It's a metallic, I guess, white paper. So it has that, you know, that sheen to it like that. See that? I know I'm wasting 99% of it behind there, but um, I don't know. I, 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 I care about this card, so. Uh, and I have a lot of that paper, so I just did that. Okay, now this next border right here, you know, I would probably, I, you know, my inclination is to see if I have any really dark blue or, uh, you know, aqua green or something like that. I mean, that would be perfect, but I just didn't have any of it. So I went with this Star Dream paper. It's kind of like a bronze or something like that. Look at that really great glow. And it, I mean, it doesn't, there aren't any of these colors within this piece here, but I feel that that texture like that, that sheen uh, to it, that reflective quality to it, um, goes really well with this piece here. So, I don't know, so I used it. See how it, you know, I mean, that kind of, you know, it, it complements it, you know. I don't know if it harmonizes with it, but I think it goes rather well with it. So, I, I mean, this would, that green would go really good with a, a purple or something like that. So you can think in terms of those types of things as opposed to always thinking of terms of the matte, bringing out some kind of color within there. Maybe it would be too redundant, you know, because this is all that one color and it wouldn't be like trying to pop out a certain color. I don't know. So anyways, that being said, that's all I had again. All right, now I have this, um, dark super blue uh dark blue glossy cardstock it's an old chrome coat that they no longer sell it's navy blue i bought a ream of it 20 some odd years ago at least uh but a black would look really good too a black would look good on this one too it could be a matte too you know just to kind of you know offset all the the shine too so i think that would be good but um i think something dark just to bring out the um the value of these pieces okay now i don't have a lot of different uh types of uh tape guns and whatnot um so i just use photo stickers and i i use a lot more of them on those base layers you know because that 10 point 
glossy cardstock that I stamped my scene in it gets a little bit floppy. I wish it was a 12 point, you know, where it's less kind of, uh, I don't know, it doesn't buckle as much under the, uh, all of those layers of ink. So I just do something like this. Now remember, this is, you know, this is a pretty big scene, so I don't know, these come in, you know, packs of a thousand too, so yeah, they're not very expensive, so I just use uh, quite a lot of them. A tip gun would be faster, wouldn't it? <laughs> much, much faster. But oh well. That's what I have. Okay, so I've used quite a bit of these because on each layer I've used, you know. Uh, a decent amount of them. Okay, so I don't know. I just eyeball things. You know, you can kind of play around with it. That looks pretty good too, right there. Okay, let me zoom in right here. Where am I zoomed it? There we go. Okay, so let's just look at the corner right there. That looks. I don't like that redundancy between that border and that uh, starred ring metallic. Something like a little bit thicker would be good. But I also like it going thin too. I think that looks pretty good there too. Just not the monotony of it. So maybe this one would be like, you know, that little millimeter thin white line to, I don't know, four times the thickness, and then you just double that, you know, for that perimeter piece right there, and that'll make this, you know, a pretty substantial card in terms of um, weight. You know, we have that star drain paper, which is pretty thick and that Aspire Petalix, which is not so thick. I don't know how many pound paper that is. It's pretty thin. It's like letter weight. But now you have this pretty thick, you know, substantial card right here. I got all my fingerprints all over this glossy mat. Now, I don't measure things out. I just kind of eyeball it. Maybe I should measure it, but I don't know. I think I get pretty close here. So I just try to find um, the... Uh, the equivalent width there. You can play around with widths a little bit too, but I just try to eyeball it from here to here. Sometimes I make the bottom part a little bit um, wider than the than the top, just you know, to have it bottom weighted. Exacto blade. I just go for several passes. Okay until I make it through. We got it. Let's make a good bookmark. Flip it around like so. I don't format all of my finished scenes um, to, for cards, but uh, they sure look better when you do that, though, don't they? All right, now well, close enough, right? I mean, it wouldn't be hard to measure that out and do it, but I just kind of eyeball things. But look at that, isn't that a nice kind of finished piece? It really, uh, I don't know, it enhances it, doesn't it, with that framing in there? And you can see that white around in there kind of brings out the, uh, you know, those different little elements in there. And then having that, I don't know, that sheen around there, I guess, is pretty good, too. But I, I think this could truly be a, a, like a black mat, too. I think that would look really good. You know, just to play, you know, some kind of different textural um, variations within the mat. You know, having to go, you know, with a, with a mat, you know, metallic and glossy, you know, for kind of a, a, a wide textural range. But... Um, I don't know, that, that blue is uh, pretty good too. It's it's blue, almost black. You can almost... I'm trying to see if the camera can pick it up at all. Um, you know, that, is, that it is truly a navy blue. <laughs> I think they have, they have black uh, within their range, but they, they stopped making that navy blue a long time ago. I think I actually bought it on closeout, so... Anyway, so, final piece there. Hope you like it. 
Hope you like the scene. Um, if you haven't logged on to this video channel before, um, this uh, scene is stamped out in a kind of a step-by-step -step, uh, instructional lesson uh, a couple videos back. So fun stuff. And then for me, um, you know, I can throw it on the back, and I have a you know a couple sentiments like uh, lie on your back and look at the stars or something like that. This card is going to be for an anniversary card. Is that kind of a I don't know, evocative of a couple things, representative of, uh, you know, but um, anyway, we'll do that and uh, put something on the back. Maybe I'll frame something on the back and, uh, you know, mat it off and say happy anniversary or something of that sort, so not sure. Okay, so anyways, if you have any questions, drop me a note in the comment section. Really minimal, you know, uh, matting right here. A lot of people do much more elaborate things than I do. I keep things pretty simple, but uh, I don't know. It works for me, and uh, I don't know. It makes it uh, the pieces kind of extra fun by doing it. Thanks for watching.